Hello and welcome to today's session on how to visualize your resume in Tableau. My name is Sophie Sparks. I'm the community manager here at the Information Lab and it's just lovely to have you join us today. In today's session, two of my colleagues, Ivan and Eduardo, are going to take you through how to structure your data to create four common elements seen in visual resumes in Tableau. And those are circle timelines, rounded edge bar charts, Gantt charts, and dashboard container headers containing icons and things like navigation. Now, if we jump into Tableau Public's interactive resume gallery, can have a look at some of these common features shown within lots of different people's interactive resumes and also I'll tell you a little bit about how the idea for the session came around. So as you can see now we're in Tableau Public's interactive resume gallery and it is a wealth of inspiration if you'd like to visualize your resume in Tableau. Now at the start of this year my colleagues were talking around New Year's resolutions and quite a few people mentioned that they wanted to create a interactive resume in Tableau or if they already had one in Tableau, they wanted to update it with them, their most recent experience. And that got me thinking, what do interactive resumes in Tableau actually look like? So I had a look at the Tableau Public's interactive resume gallery and I saw even though there's a huge range and diversity in how people are visualizing their resumes, there are quite a few common elements between all the interactive resumes um, up here in the interactive gallery. Now if we just look at the first three by Samuel Parsons, by my colleague Alicia Dillon and by Lucas Jennings, we can see those common elements in action. So first let's jump into Sam Parsons' resume. His resume is absolutely beautifully designed and it is not structured in a typical resume way, especially if you're used to seeing resumes on paper. But we can see he does include a, a timeline. So this is an instance of his public speaking timeline, which is visualized as circles showing different places he's spoken at and ongoing um, speaking commitments. He also has a Gantt chart with rounded edges showing when he did particular things over his career. Now if I jump into the second uh, resume which is Alicia's, um, you can see Alicia's is designed very differently, it's quite pared down. I actually had a chance to talk to Alicia around the inspiration for her resume and I've linked her blog post which says explains why she built her resume at the start and also has a written version of how to create lots of these chart types. So do check it out. It is linked in the description below. So Alicia's resume includes a container with icons showing her linking to her Tableau public profile, where to find her on social um, and things like her, her education background. She also has a, a timeline. This is a circle timeline again. And then she's got a rounded edge bar chart and a, a line chart with a Gantt chart lying over the top to show markers over, over time, or in this case to show sort of competency with skills. The last of those first three um, resumes on the Tableau Public Interactive Gallery is by Lucas Jennings, and you can see his is designed differently again. He has a Gantt chart showing his career timeline. He does have icons in the upper right hand corner linking to how to contact him and his Tableau public profile. And if we scroll down he has quite a few icons showing interests and again some sort of bar chart showing technical skills. So if we can see those three ele uh, four elements, a timeline, a bar chart of some description, often with rounded edges or markers, a Gantt chart and a header container with, with icons in it seem to be quite common elements across many different uh, visual resumes and indeed we can see them, all of those elements in those first three. I'll go back to the interactive Tableau's interactive resume gallery. I highly recommend you do check this the gallery out for inspiration if you'd like to visualize your CV in Tableau. Um, I put a link to it um, where to find this in the description below as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the how-to videos. So we'll start 
with my colleague Ivan, who will take us through a short video on how to structure your data to create these four common elements. We'll then have my colleague Eduardo go through how to create a circle timeline. Then Ivan will take us through how to create a rounded edge bar chart, then a Gantt chart, and lastly Eduardo will um, show us how to create a dashboard container layout to hold your header, um, header icons and images in a neat and orderly way. So do stick around and see how you can create your own visual resume in Tableau Public. Hope you enjoy the session and let's start with our first how-to. Ivan, and I'm a member of the Data Skills 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to structure data from your CV. This will let you know how to transform your CV into a data set that you can use in Tableau to create a viz. This will allow you to actually show your Tableau skills when applying for a job. So let's jump right into Excel and see the format of the data. This is an example of my CV. So first of all, I've created the column for activity. And in my case, we can see that I have my university, college, and then my different skills, IT, numeracy and analysis, teamwork and leadership, and so on. And then I have my work. The next column is the title of the activity. So we have the specific degree I did in university. I have my A-levels for college. For work, I have the role at the company. The next column is category for my activity. For the university, it's education and the same for college. Then I have my skills and my work. Then I have the description, uh, which provides some detail about the activity. The next columns are my start date and my end date, which apply to my study and my work. Then I have my grade. So I got a first in my degree and two A's and a C in college. The last column is skill, where, which is the level of my proficiency. We can see the different software I have, Altrex, Microsoft Office, SQL, RStudio, and Tableau, and I've graded those skills out of 10. So this is the structure we need for our data. We can now connect to it in Tableau and create an interactive viz. Our next how-to is how to create a circle timeline chart with my colleague Eduardo. Hi there, my name is Eduardo and I'm a member of the Data School's 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a circle timeline chart. This will help you quickly visualize a series of dates on a timeline, which can be sized and colored according to chosen measures. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. So for this example, I'm going to use the sample EU Superstore dataset. And the first thing I'm going to do to create a circle timeline is to right click and drop the order date onto the columns. Then I'm going to select month and click OK. Then I'm going to double click on the row shelf and type AVG, the average function, and zero. Now I'm going to select one of our measures, such as sales, and I'm gonna drop it onto the size. To create a circle timeline, we're gonna change the mark type from automatic to circle. Then I'm gonna right click on the average of zero and deselect show header. I'm also gonna deselect the include tooltip of the average of zero. And here we have it, our circle timeline. From now on, there's a series of things we can do. We can choose to increase the size, change the color and the opacity, and even add borders or leave it as it is. Another thing we can do is to use another measure such as profit to color our circle timeline. We can further break down a circle timeline, for example, by category. And we can also format the zero line. Right click, 
format, format lines, and zero lines. Here we can decide to make the zero line bigger, continuous, and darker, or even choose another color completely. Up next, Ivan will show us how to create a rounded edge bar chart. Hi there, my name is Ivan and I am a member of the Data Skills 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rounded edge bar chart from your CV. This will let you know how to visit your data career. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. So we have our structured data from our CV, as I mentioned in my previous video. So now if we go into our first sheet, we want to drag activity into our rows. We can see we've got all our activities. We only want that software. So if we drag category into filters, we can just select software. Now we've got, uh, now from our activities, we've just got our software. We want to now drag a uh, skill level to our columns. Let's make that an entire view. So now we've got a bar chart of our software and we want to make it a rounded edge bar chart. To do that, let's select skill level. Let's duplicate skill level. So let's select, press control and drag it, drop it. If we select one of these charts to be a bar chart in our marks card, and select another one to be a circle. circle. We can now make it a dual axis. If we now make our circle a bit larger, let's make the bar chart smaller, uh, thinner. So now we've got a rounded edge bar chart for a different software uh, sort of. So we can see what skills. So now we've got a visual of what skills, I'm, of what software I'm the strongest at. So we've got Tableau and Microsoft Office on top. Then we've got Altrix and then the SQL and our Studio. We can see now we've created a visual from the level of proficiency of my software skills. In the next how-to, Ivan's gonna show us how to create a Gantt chart. Hi there, my name is Ivan and I'm a member of the Data Skills 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart from your CV. This will let you know how to visit your data career. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. Okay, so we've got our structured data. Now, if we go into our sheet, we can put, we can drag start date into our columns. If we just right click on start date, drag and drop it to columns. We want month, month start date as a measure. And then for our rows, we want the activity. We don't really want our software and our skills. So if we drag category into filters, we can just select education and work. Let's just make it an entire view. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want the duration of the activity to be uh, on size. So each of these bars would represent the um, amount of days we've worked or we studied. So to do that, we're going to create a date diff calculation. 
I just go into the white space here, just right click and say create calculated field. Let's name it duration of the activity. And what we want, we want a date diff. Date diff on the right hand side, we've got an example. So what it does is it gives us a difference between our two dates. The first specification is what you want it to be in. So days, months, years, and we've got our start date and our end date. If we just type in day, comma, then our start date, and our end date. You see the calculation is valid. If you just press OK now, we can then drag this duration of the activity onto size to give us uh, the duration, the duration for each of these bars. Now we can see, I've got my college, which I started in 2015 and in 2017. Then I've got my university. I've worked at a summer camp in, in 2018, summer of 2018. And then I've also got my work, which I worked throughout university. I've got that here. So what we want to do now, actually, we don't want our, um, our activity on the y-axis. We maybe want it on the bars. So if we just get rid of it, click show header, and let's put activity onto label. Let's now change the alignments. Change it maybe to the middle. Now we can see we've got we've got our activity on the bars got a nice visual of my work and my education history, which is quite useful. Our final Visualize Your Resume how-to is by my colleague Eduardo, and he's showing us how to create a container for dashboard headers. Hi there, my name is Eduardo, and I'm a member of the Data School's 25th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use layout containers to display the header elements of your dashboards. This will help you organize and visualize those elements more quickly and efficiently. Let's jump into Tableau and get started. As an example for today's video, I'm going to use my CV dashboard. And in particular, I'm going to focus on the header section here on top. As you can see when I hover over, this section is made of many different elements. In particular, a horizontal container containing an image object, a text object, a blank object configured as a line separator, another blank object, a vertical container that contains a text object, a horizontal container containing three different sheets, and another blank object. Outside of it, another blank object. This is also visible from the layout view in the item hierarchy. Now what I'm going to do is creating another dashboard and start building the header section from scratch. So I'm going to click here to create a new dashboard. I'm going to adjust the size to the same as my original dashboard. Then I'm going to select floating and drag and drop a vertical container on the canvas. Then I'm going to click Layout and adjust the position 
of x and y to zero, as well as the size to the same as the original dashboard. This will allow me to drag and drop elements in the dashboard without creating any tiled objects here in the item hierarchy. I'm also going to select tiled and drag and drop a blank object within the vertical container. This will help me distribute the elements within the container more easily. Now I'm going to drag and drop a horizontal container here on top. And I'm going to adjust its height to 200. Then I'm going to drag and drop a blank object within the horizontal container, as well as an image object. From here, I can choose the image I prefer, as well as choose the options to fit and center the image. However, for this example, I already have my image object in the original dashboard, so I can copy and paste it onto my new dashboard. I'm gonna click and hold shift to drag and drop the image into container. Now I can go to my original CV and copy and paste the text from the text object. So that I can now drag and drop a text right next to the image and paste. I can also adjust the size of the text object to the same as this one, width of 425. I can click here and edit width. Now I can go to dashboard, drag and drop a blank object here. Since this will serve as our separator line, we can adjust the layout and choose a background of a different color. For instance, this one. Since we want a line, I'm gonna edit the width to 10. And click OK. Why 10? Because we have to account for the outer padding here, which has four pixels on the left and four pixels on the, on the right. So a total of eight pixels, which will display in 10 pixels object, a line of two pixels. Now I'm going to drag and drop another blank object right next to our line. And I'm going to adjust its width to that of this object in the original dashboard, 73. Left click, edit width, 73. Perfect. Now I'm going to drag and drop a vertical container and do the same thing. Double click here to select the vertical container, layout, and width. Now I'm going to drag and drop a blank object within the vertical container, as well as a text object here on top. I'm going to fix its height and drag and drop a horizontal container within the vertical container here. I'm going to edit its height. And drag and drop my sheets. I can right click and hide the title for each and every one of my sheets. Double clicking here, I can also choose the option to distribute contents evenly. Finally, I'm going to adjust the height of this blank object, as well as the width of this one. However, for this one, I need to account for the general padding of my original dashboard. 15 on the sides and 6 on top and bottom. So double click here. Double click again, 
you select all sides equal, and I can change the values. Perfect. Now the header elements of my dashboards are now distributed in layout containers. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope these videos have given you a good framework for how you could visualize your own resume in Tableau. Please hit subscribe if you'd like to get notified with all our new upcoming content. And I hope you dial into one of our future sessions. Thank you.